Welcome back for another video. I'm Airbad, a free-to-play endgame player in Raid Shadow Legends. Today we're going to take a look at the approach I take for champion training. I would start by summoning mystery shards to get a stockpile of rank 1 and rank 2 champions. I will then go to the tavern and I'll take one star, put three other one stars and a brew into them to get them to level 10. Once level 10, I'll put another one star in to rank them up to two star. Once we have sufficient two stars uh, from our summoning, we will go to campaign, run Brutal 12-3, and put nine runs into our two stars. For this, you could either use multi-battles or you could use an auto clicker. The point is, I run the battle nine times. Let's come back when those nine runs have finished. Now that that's done, we'll go to normal 12-3 with our level 19 two stars from the nine runs of brutal 12-3 and we'll run normal 12-3 one time. As you can see, the nine runs of brutal 12-3 plus one run of normal 12-3 has fully ranked up our two stars to 20. I will now repeat this for all the other two stars I have in this current batch. With a selection of my two stars now ranked to 20, I will go back to the tavern and simply upgrade these to three star level one. You might wonder why I consistently use the same champion types, um, but it does just help me organize my food and uh, keep things clean and organized. So the only force champion I ever rank up are Incubus, I only ever rank Yeoman from Magic, I only ever rank Novitiate from Spirit, and then I, I don't use uh, Avoid Food per se. So I have one of each of the primary affinities, which means I'm more able to equalize my brew usage across all the affinities uh, and, and never end up with too much of an asymmetry in my resources so i'm always using all the different affinities and i'll if i end up with any kind of imbalance in my brews i will just focus on the champions from those affinities to keep them as as consistent as possible all right with our two stars ranked up we now have a selection of three star level one so from here i will select three level one three star champions that i intend on ranking up to four star and then run brutal 12 3 for 23 runs and then 45 minutes in the sparring pit if i'm not in any rush i may run 21 runs in brutal 12 3 and leave them overnight in the sparring pit for eight hours but since we're pushing a champion training quite hard right now i will go for 23 runs and then 45 minutes in the sparring pit Let's rejoin once these runs are done. Right, now with that done, we'll now go to the sparring pit and we will put these three star level 29 champions in uh, until they are ranked up to level 30, which as you can see, will take 45 minutes. In the meantime, the champions that I will be using to rank up the three star 30s i will put one brew into each of them as you can see right now we are double dipping between the champion training and also gaining some cbc points with the brew process done we'll now take our three star 30 put in three champions at level 10 to get a four star another thing i tend to do during a fusion is I do lock all the rares that we are working with so I don't inadvertently use them as food <laughs> and, then, and then regret it and be unable to do the fusion. So once we have our three star 30s ranked up to four star we'll take a four star level one put in two brews and a common to rank up to level 50. I will do this for all my four star food whether i intend to rank them up to 40 or whether i intend to feed them 
into a four star forty. Irrespective, I will put two brews and a one star into each of them. So once I've selected a level 40 four star that I want to rank up to five star, either as a champion I'm developing or in this instance as food, I will feed in the four star 15s into the mix and end up with a five star level one. Ordinarily, I'd be using the same food that I've shown you throughout. However, I'm running low on space and some champions I had originally just ranked up to 4 star 40 as potential uses for, for future secret rooms or future content, I'm now going to use as 5 star food. So once we have ranked up our 4 star 40 to 5 star level 1, if we're intending on using them as food to make a 6 star champion, I'll put 3 brews and 1 1 star to make them level 18. It's a 5 star that I intend to ultimately rank up to 6 star. I will typically put 12 brews in and then I will leave them in the pit pretty much until they're level 50. Uh, if I do need them more urgently I'll put more brews in but uh, generally speaking I'll put around 12 brews in to the 5 star. And uh, and then leave them in the pit until they're they're ready. Like I said, it very much depends on on how urgently you need them to six star. As a consequence, you can see I end up with quite a lot of five star fifties that could potentially be made into six stars in the future. And ultimately, when I am ready to make a new six star, I'll take my five star food all at level eighteen, upgrade them. Usually, I'll leave the six star ascension until CVC. This is CVC, so, so I'll do it now. Again, unless I needed it urgently for progression. And then typically I will put in 12 brews again to get them to level 32 and the rest of the levels that make up farming Minotaur. So there you have it. I think we've gone through my, my um, strategy from taking mystery shards up to six star champions. So just to recap, a one star, I'll put one brew and three other one stars to make a level 10, then rank up to rank two star. For two stars, I'll do nine brutal 12-3 runs plus one normal 12-3 run. Then obviously rank them up to three star using two more two stars. For three star food, I'll do 23 brutal 12-3 runs plus 45 minutes in the sparring pit. To make a four star, I'll take the three star 30 plus three more three stars at level 10, which is one brew in each of them. In all my four stars, I will then put two brews and one star common to make them level 15. From there, the four stars that I rank up to five star food, I will level up to 40 through campaign and the use of the sparring pit depending on the urgency. Then for five stars, I'll put three brews and a one star common to make them level 18. When I rank up to a six star, I'll then typically put in 12 brews and then farm the rest of the levels in Minotaur. If we take a look quickly at the champion training tournament, you can see that uh, by following this strategy, I've nearly got the 4,000 points required. Uh, I have made one six-star champion, I have made a couple of five-star food, and I've obviously ranked up a bunch of two-stars. So point of reference, if you summoned mystery shards for all your food, it would take you approximately 430 mystery shards to make three five-star level 18 food. In that time, you will use 109 brews, and burn approximately 2,850 energy, and gain about 6,200 champion training points. If you did that all on gems, it would be around 880 gems. But of course, we do get a lot of energy throughout the day and from other events, so you definitely don't need to be spending huge amounts of gems to get it done. Furthermore, if you are in a position to make a six star, that will get you additional points. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been useful for you. 
Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Any feedback's always welcome. And I hope that using this strategy will help you more efficiently farm your champion training points. Good luck.